Well, hello. Today we are looking at Basil Hayden's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Is that a good thumbnail? Yes. Listen to that. I love the sound of the bottle opening. Ah, oh, it's a great sound. As you might notice, uh, the bottle is pretty darn empty. And I just got this yesterday. We had some family over and taste tested it ourselves. I was gonna save it for today to try it like on camera, but I couldn't wait. Cool looking bottle. All right, let's just let's just give it a go. Let's give it a try, and I will just share with you. My own personal opinions on it. First of all, hmm, the heavenly nasal notes. What if that's what it was called? What if aroma was called nasal notes? All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, first thoughts. As I think them, it's it's very light. For a bourbon, it sips very easily. And part of the reason is because it is an 80 proof. Now, I recently had some... What was it? Something Creek, Dry Creek, Mule Creek, Cider Creek, Prairie Creek. I can't remember. Something Creek and it was 100 proof. That one has a bit more of a bite. This being 80 proof and also being, I just think, a good quality bourbon. I mean, you could sip this all day long and be like, is that bourbon or water? I can't tell. It's very, but it's very flavorful. It has all the flavor that you want out of a good bourbon. It's not overly syrupy, which I appreciate. Some bourbons are so syrupy, so sweet and thick. It's fine. I'm just not a big, I'm not as big of a fan as I am of, of uh, uh, bleh, hmm. I like this sort of bourbon better. It's definitely lighter, both in terms of, like I said, it's only 80 proof, so it doesn't give you as much of a bite, but it also, like, it's, it's almost like if you took a syrupy bourbon, but you put it through a really fine strainer and you came out with more of a, almost like a watery type texture. You know, it doesn't feel as heavy or as gooey. And it's also not overly sweet at all. It's light across the board. If a full flavored, syrupy, thicker, strong, 100 proof, 100 proof bourbon is like a waveform. You know what a waveform is? Like music, like a waveform. This is like you put a normalizer on it. Do you know what a normalizer is? Get with it. It just sort of takes the peaks and valleys and squishes them down a little bit to where everything's a little bit softer. That's what this bourbon is like. Yeah, but it's a good bourbon. So you get that bite that you want. You get the flavor of a good bourbon. It just doesn't leave a thicker kind of residue in your mouth. I don't know how to describe it, but there's just no syrup. Mm. This, I would, you know what I would say? I mean, this is a great uh, sipping bourbon. I'm sure it, I mean, it mixes well. We mixed it in some drinks last night. But I also would say, this is probably a great introductory bourbon. If you're somebody who wants to get into bourbon, this is probably a good way to do it because it gives you all of the flavor notes and the the best parts. It's, it's here's what it's like. It's like, uh, the best parts of the bourbon are in this and everything else is not there. So there's other parts of bourbon that you might enjoy more as you get more into bourbon. Maybe you like a more syrupy, just strong, in your face, punch you in the gut kind of bourbon. But if you just wanna start into it, like this is just a clean, smooth, delicious bourbon, but it leaves you traces of what bourbon is known for. Oh, it's good, it's very good. I would highly recommend this as I scratch my nose. They call it a sophisticated taste. I could see that. True to the old family recipe, with more rye than traditional bourbon. Hmm. And it's trademark spicy finish. Now that is true, it's just, that's the thing. Like you taste it and there's not a, there's not a ton there. Like it's just like, oh, this goes down so smooth. But it definitely gives you that spicy note at the end. And also the bottle looks so good. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick little taste review. I'm gonna start doing some taste reviews of different bourbons because it gives me an excuse to go out and try new bourbons. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this channel, we do like tobacco stuff, family stuff, 
bourbon, outdoorsy things. Like, it's just everything that's good in life is included on this channel. So subscribe, won't you? I would love, I would love your subscription. And I want, I want YouTube to be proud of me. Help make YouTube proud of me by subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Oops. A flow,